It's been three days since the implementation of the order passed by the state government of Maharashtra, which states that all domestic passengers arriving from Delhi NCR, Rajasthan, Gujarat and Goa must carry a negative RT-PCR test report with them if they are seeking to enter the state of Maharashtra. The test should have been done within 72 hours of the scheduled landing time at airports and 96 hours before the scheduled arrival at railway stations. Passengers failing to provide such a report would have to undergo rapid antigen tests at airports, railway stations and other points of entry into the state. If found positive, the passenger would then have to follow the existing protocols laid down for COVID-19 patients. Since 25th November, Midday has fanned out all over Mumbai to get real-time on-ground footage from railway stations, airports and bus stations to document how the authorities and arriving passengers are dealing with the situation. Following the state's directive, which was given at a relatively short notice, there was utter chaos on day 1, 25th November. Arriving travellers all over the city of Mumbai were a bewildered and confused lot as hardly any of them were aware of the new protocols set by the government of Maharashtra. Passengers arriving by train were largely unaware of the regulations and were confused about the checking. There was also a shortage of screening and testing booths which resulted in overcrowding, lack of social distancing and huge delays. On the other hand, Mumbai's Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport appeared to be two steps ahead of the curve. With testing facilities available since 6 September, the airport was well prepared for the latest rules. While railway stations and airports were busy following the new protocols, road transport appears to have been free of them. Bus operators said the screening of passengers is impossible as they don't have that kind of manpower or system. A couple of tour operators said that passengers coming from Gujarat were being thermally scanned. After an assessment of crowds on day one, the BMC and the railways coordinated and got more testing booths in place for improved management of passengers entering Mumbai. Additionally, more railway protection force and government railway police personnel were deployed. Many passengers also started carrying their negative test reports with them. As of today, the testing procedures at Mumbai's railway stations have been largely streamlined and operations are running much more smoothly. Midday spoke to Shivaji Sutar, the Chief Public Relations Officer of the Central Railway, who gave us an insight into how the railway is prepared at such short notice to follow the travel order that was passed by the Government of Maharashtra. As soon as we got the notification of the state government of Maharashtra on 23rd of this month, uh, we immediately informed the concern authorities, especially the DRMs, Divisional Railway Managers at Busawal, Pune, Mumbai, Nagpur and Solapur divisions to coordinate with the state government authorities. We also informed the IICTC to place the notification on the IICTC website and also informed other zonal authorities. The idea is to reach the passengers and pass on the instructions issued by the state government, state government of Maharashtra. Apart from this, on ground, we deployed the team of uh, station directors, station masters, RPF, GRP and the station staff to coordinate with the state government authorities and different ward authorities of the state government. We are assisting state government authorities by providing them the expected number of passengers from the areas and regions mentioned in the notification of the state government of Maharashtra that is from Delhi, Rajasthan, Gujarat and Goa. 
we are assisting state government authorities by providing them the expected arrival of the train at the station and also by providing them space uh, for screening of the passengers. Apart from this, railway team is assisting them to uh, form a queue, especially the team of uh, uh, RPF and GRP and the station staff to avoid the crowding at station and to maintain the social distancing. We are assisting them to uh, form a queue at station so that this process becomes very specific and easy. Midday also spoke to a few of the arriving passengers about their journey and got their views on the situation. Testing is necessary, it is very necessary for testing. So, one day, many people can go to the other side. It is good, it is good. We don't have to do it, we don't have to do it, we don't have to do it. It is good, it is good for everyone. Whatever is happening, we need to give the people to the people. Midday continues to monitor the on-ground situation to see how the authorities and passengers deal with these new travel directives. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.